Welcome back to The Juice. So the South Beach Comedy Festival every year holds this audition where hundreds of comedians show up to actually get one to host an event for the festival. So cool that they're looking for local talent and we can see Will Hatcher, the winner of the competition. I don't know, uh, you guys familiar with Beyonce, she had a song, Single Ladies. You guys heard that song? Make some noise if you heard it. Yeah! Women love it. See, it's out here, fam. Like, women love that song. Like, I use it for somebody putting a ring on or whatever. Like, they get real happy, they get excited, they go to the club. Like, I see this all the time. They go to the club, and they're like high-fiving each other, like, yeah, girl, no one loves us. Like, they just excited as, 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 as heck. Really excited. You see them, they were like, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh. you know, that thing. <laughs> and now joining us on The Juice, the winner, the man himself, comedian, yeah, yeah. Will Hatcher, who has issues. Yeah. He's had issues. We're proud of you, <laughs> thank man. You. That's great. Great job. Thank you. Thank Are you, you so much. Um, very, very nervous. Um, but I felt good. I was kind of confident, but I felt nervous. My sister was in the audience. Your sister? Yeah. Did you feel better or worse? Worse. <laughs> worse. Yeah. Why? She's never seen me perform. So did you compete last year? Or was it the first time? I competed. I auditioned last year. I didn't make it though. Mm. So, yeah. so you worked on your material. Yeah. yeah. What did you forget do last year. You did huh? one this year. That's the difference. Well, what do you do different in a year to make you go from? Loser My dreams got longer. So yeah, just I'm that's the secret. More Bob Marley. Yeah. 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 And using Beyonce for some material. That's definitely, why, definitely. Yeah. I got to give props to Sasha Fierce. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, you know, we have you on because we want to talk headlines. And one of yeah. the first headlines I came across that is just shocking was this whites-only basketball league. Have you heard this one yet? Yeah. Yeah, this guy it's is launching real. a whites-only basketball league in 12 cities in the summer. <laughs> and the reason why he's doing it is because he wants to get away from the whole street ball played by quote-unquote people of color. And he wants to get back to the fundamentals of basketball. Yeah. So I, when I saw that, I was actually happy that they decided to do that <laughs> because, like, you know, when you sit on the bench for a long time, you get angry. Like I, I would, like in high school, I rode the bench for a long time. So like on the weekends, I would go to like elementary schools and beat up on fifth graders and like dunk on them. So it like it boosted my confidence. It just probably destroyed theirs, but it made me feel better. Now, um, if you could name some of the teams, what would you name them? Because uh, oh, the names are going to be, you know. Yeah. Oh man. Um, <laughs> you put them on the spot. The Milwaukee Snowflakes. Snowflakes would be good. That's yeah. a good one. That's a good crackers? one. The Casper. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. That's, you know, you got to do something along those lines. Those, those are good. It's going to be really boring though. The league is going to be extremely boring. Like yeah. when, because uh, you want to see like you know players dunk from the free throw line. But and, it'll be a big deal when somebody's actually dunking. That's it, true. It, it could that be will music. be shocking. White guys did invent the slam dunk. So yeah. <laughs> and and, and white men can. Jump. Yeah, sort of. Yeah, yeah sort, sort of. of. Well, listen to this quote. Okay, would you want to go to the game and worry about a player flipping you off or attacking you in the stands or grabbing their crotch? This is according to the man that's starting all this. <laughs> that's the culture today, and in a free country, we should have the right to move ourselves in a better direction. Does this guy have a point? Yeah, but that's really entertaining. Like, I want to see players grab their crotch <laughs> yeah. and, and jump in the stands. And like, bring guns to the locker Yeah, room. it's dangerous. Like, it's a little bit of excitement to I the game. I think a lot of people will check it out. Curiosity will be there, but let's see if it has any legs. But, but who says white guys won't fight or bring guns to the locker room? I mean, you know, the whole NRA is made up of white guys. So, I mean, that's, who has that's, guns? That's very true. That's very, very it's going to be extremely boring. When your best player is Mark Maston, you know, <laughs> Todd McCullough, that's, that's not a fun league whatsoever. All right, what's the next headline? What next do we got, Rivage? All right, so we've got local Miami winner. 75 commutes in the whole country were mm -hmm. rated of whatever in the country was the worst commute. L.A. number one, obviously. And I was disappointed that Miami was 10th. I thought top five for sure. They now, growing up in Miami, you got to tell me some of the frustrations of, grow, of driving in this town. Oh, my God. Uh... It's horrible. Well, one, I, I, I am also very disappointed. As Miami drivers, we need to uh, do something about that. Like next year, we need to be number one. I don't know what we need to cause well, we more need accidents. To be the worst. But, <laughs> yeah, something. But um, I, the worst experience I ever had was I was driving and I was it was pouring out, raining, and I was trying to get in front of this lady. And she made a point to honk her horn, drive in front of me, and she did like the the Kembe Mutombo finger. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. no, out to my house. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I've, I've been cussed out. Okay. Uh, I've, I've had this guy like throw ninja stars, like ninja stars. Ninja stars. Yeah, I don't know where he got them. That's he amazing. Threw, yeah, ninja stars at my car. Um, I, I don't know. Nobody in this town uses their blinkers. The uh -huh. only time they put their blinkers and hazards on is when it's torrential downpour. In the rain. Yeah. yeah, I don't I, understand that actually. I, I don't think get that the blinker thing in the rain. If we're not top five next year, it's gonna be very disappointing. So Miami. Get, get a little more get, reckless. Get, get it going. We'll get it together. <laughs> we can All get right. it together. Well, Will, thank you so much again for being with us. Good luck at the thank comedy festival. Me. Congratulations. Congratulations for winning. Good luck. You already made it. That's fantastic. Yeah, That's yeah. great. Yeah. And when the comedy festival leaves, we still have some ways to get laughter around town. So here are plum picks for laughter. Check it out.
When most people think of South Beach, visions of sexy nightclubs and trendy bars come to mind, but there are plenty of other ways to enjoy your evenings in Miami, including places to tickle your funny bone. Our plum pick, the best laugh in Miami. Our first plum pick is the longest running comedy interactive theater show in the country. This is Tony and Tina's wedding. The audience members are actually part of the wedding, so it's completely interactive, bound to get lots of laughs. Every show is different because depending on who's there, it's going to change the show. Next, tucked underneath the Shelbourne Hotel is the best place on the beach to channel your inner pop star. The studio calls itself the biggest karaoke bar in the world. We had from Whitney Houston to Kelly Clarkson, the Olsen Twins. This is a very, very unusual place. Plus, you're guaranteed to get a great laugh because some people should never, ever sing outside the shower. Up next, just the funny. We take what the audience gives us and we actually use it. We take those suggestions, whatever they give us, and we turn it around into really awesome scenes or characters, and we just make them come to life. What have you brought to the kingdom of me? <laughs> I have brought you... Yes! The largest spoon in all the land. <laughs> Our last pick is a no-brainer. Miami Improv in Coconut Grove offers a true comedy nightclub experience and some of the best acts around. If laughter is the best medicine, think of the improv as your prescription for fun. The best laughs are this week's plum picks, and the best things in life are plum. One time laugh for me this week, mm -hmm. I'm going to see situation in Jay Wow at Mansion. <laughs> I'll be fist pumping right next to you, buddy. <laughs> for more Plum Picks, check out our website, PlumTV.com backslash Miami. And that's it for us on The Juice. See you next time. Take care.